We have a special guest with us this evening. He's one who represents one of the most, most historic governing boards in our state's history, the Kansas Board of Regents. This board dates back to 1913, when Governor George Hodges first appointed members to what was then a three-person board. Today, the Kansas Board of Regents consists of nine members and is responsible for governing the state's six public institutions, which of course includes Pittsburgh State. In addition to governing those institutions, the board coordinates 19 community colleges, five technical colleges, and one municipal university. The board's responsibilities are many, <clears throat> but its, its focus is singular in nature to provide Kansas with a statewide system of higher education that encourages student success without sacrificing access or quality. It's a difficult job, but thankfully we have some of our finest Kansans leading the way. And one of those fine Kansans is with us this evening, Regent Ed McKechnie, and it's my pleasure to introduce him to you. Regent McKechnie is no stranger to Pittsburgh State. In fact, he may have spent more time on this campus as a student than anyone in the arena. Now, you might think that's funny, but here's the deal. Regent McKechnie began his time on campus as a first grade student at Horace Mann Elementary. That was a lab school for the Department of Education at the time. He would go on to earn his bachelor's degree in communication in 1986 and shortly thereafter begin a life dedicated to public service as a state representative for the third district, a seat he held for a decade. Regent McKechnie is an Arcadia resident, currently serves as Executive Vice President for Strategic Development and Chief Commercial Officer for Watco Companies here in Pittsburgh. As a February 2010 appointee to the board by Governor Mark Parkinson, Regent McKechnie wasted no time in having an impact on the board and the state's post-secondary system. In July of that year, he was elected by his fellow board members to serve as the vice chair. And the next year, Regent McKechnie took on the role of board chair. He's been an outstanding leader on the board and has, direct, has had direct involvement in the selection of four of the six CEOs who will be working beginning in July. This region and this institution have benefited from his work on the board and we will forever be indebted to him for his many contributions. He is a friend of the region, of the university, and certainly of mine. As I contemplate his term on the board expiring later this year, I realize how badly his wit, his insights, his passion, his energy, and his perspectives will be missed. Tonight, I want to say thank you to Regent McKechnie. You've done a magnificent job as a member of the Kansas Board of Regents, and let's welcome Regent McKechnie to the podium at this time. Regent McKechnie. I'm afraid the introduction might be longer than my remarks, so I'm going to try and move through this. Good evening, everyone. Dr. Scott, members of the faculty, parents and family, and most importantly, our graduates, congratulations on making it to the day of what college is all about, your graduation. From before you arrived on campus and everything between then and now, your graduation is what we've all been working towards, and we are so proud of your accomplishments. As a fellow graduate from the jungle, I understand the excitement you have today, and for some of you, the headaches you may be having after a week of finals and your last college celebration. Dr. Scott and leadership team, congratulations to successfully bringing another school year to a close and for all the hard work you have committed to in advancing Pittsburgh State forward. The strategic vision for the university has never been clear. The campus master plan captures the needs of our future students and our focus on academic performance is what you would expect for gorillas tough and meaningful for the world ahead. Members of the faculty, thank you for your commitment to help these graduates succeed and be prepared for their days ahead. You are experts in your professions and you have given generously of your time and knowledge and I thank you for that. Please know that as we work through difficult issues of funding, communication and other challenges we face, that the board wants to get to the same place you do an environment where you are academically free to explore ideas with your students and help them learn how to change the world. I have appreciated the opportunity to serve as your regent, and I am committed to work on behalf of higher education as I complete my term on the board. Since we are here in a basketball gym and since we are in, in the middle of the, of the never-ending NBA playoffs, I thought I might use a quote from a basketball great, Michael Jordan. In discussing his success, he said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and have missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. 
I believe that success in both your personal and professional life is a never-ending journey of improvement and forward progress. The answer to the great question of what to do when you come to the fork of the in the road is, I believe, to take it. The road you choose, whether it's less traveled or full of others, is, n is not as important as, cho as choosing to move forward. You will have challenging days, you will not always succeed on the first attempt, or you may find a calling to change your life and do something totally different. When those challenges occur, I encourage you to use the critical thinking skills that you've learned from your family, your community, and your time at Pitt State and make the decision that is right for you. My advice to you is that when you are faced with a challenge, the only wrong thing to do is to do nothing at all. By doing nothing or by waiting until you only have one option, you are allowing others to decide how you will live your life and you are allowing others to decide how much happiness you can have. Take control of your life. Choose the path you want to take and don't let anything stand in your way of success. Finally, when your course is set, remember the people that have helped you along the way. For some of you, your family members who are here watching you have wanted you to be a college graduate from the first day you entered preschool. As you progressed through your life, there were teachers, friends, and mentors that helped shape who you are today. I challenge you now to help those who follow you by mentoring them and giving them the wisdom of your journey. Also make sure you say thanks to those who believed in you and helped you get across the collegiate finish line. Today we celebrate their belief in you right along with what you have accomplished. Thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. I believe America is that shining city on the hill that is a beacon of freedom and economic prosperity that can be an inspiration to the world. Graduates, I believe that America, our future, and all that is great about it is all about you. Thank you and good luck. I hope you choose to make tomorrow as awesome as possible. Welcome to the, to the alumni ranks of Gorilla Nation. God bless you all.